uh, seven each. Rushing, Clemson's rushed for 100 yards, Maryland for 68. Passing, Clemson passed for 29, Maryland for 51. No return yardage for the Tiger, two for Maryland. Passes attempted, Fuller's attempted six, completed two. For Maryland, eight, they've completed five. Total offense, Tigers 129 yards, Maryland 119 yards. Tigers have lost a fumble, Maryland none. Tigers have not been penalized, Maryland three times for 15 yards. More stats coming up after the second half kickoff is going to be coming up too in just a few moments. But first, this is the Clemson Football Network. You know, I think it's kind of interesting that uh, both teams are well below their punting average on the year, but the Maryland punting has certainly kept the Tigers backed up, especially in that first quarter when the Tigers had no field position whatsoever. A couple of times they've had some field position, but on their touchdown drive, they started back at their own 20-yard line, had to go 80 yards for it. On the other hand, Maryland has had good field position all throughout the afternoon. Maryland gets the ball as the Tigers are going to have to kick it off to them. And, of course, the Tigers are going to take the wind to their back for uh, this quarter. A little bit of a wind blowing from west to east here in this horseshoe-type stadium. Bird Stadium at College Park. Maryland would love nothing better than to get something else on the scoreboard. For the Tigers, it's important that they do not panic. It's important that they remember that there's still a full half of football left, and they are very capable of coming back and playing with Maryland, and, in fact, going on top. So uh, that's the big thing, as long as the Tigers don't panic. Once again, reminding Tigers led in total offense, 129 to 119. Tigers had one turnover. They fumbled the ball twice, and uh, I thought they fumbled it three times, as a matter of fact. Once on the uh, early drive, once to Lester, they only lost one of them. But Maryland had no, no turnovers whatsoever. Jim? All right. The Tigers and the Terps over to Reary, placing it on the tee at the west end of the field at the 40-yard line. Wysocki across the way, Steve Atkins to the near side, back to receive for Maryland. Third quarter action coming up. Maryland with a blocked punt, recovered by Michael Carney in the end zone, moving on top 14-7 to just before the end of the first half of play. How much emotion did they carry into the second half as a result of that? We'll see. Here's Ariri's kick, a flat one down the right side. Wysocki watches it hit out of bounds around the six or seven yard line. Well, they'll say it went out at the nine. So they'll elect to have it come back and Ariri will tee it up at the 35 and start over again. Well, at that time, looked as if he wanted to power it and when he did, he overkicked it. Got a little high and hooked it over. Kind of like your golf swing, he hooked it a little bit. That looks like my golf swing. My golf seems like anything you've never seen. <laughs> Is that right? Wow, can it get bad at that? <laughs> so Hobart backs up to the 35 now. He'll place it on the tee there and will be set to go again. Wysocki still to the far side. And Atkins to the near side. Tigers' total offense was more than Maryland's, but the Terps have more points on the board, and that's what it's all judged on. The bottom line is what the scoreboard shows. Jim, I, didn't, I did not get to the fact that Brown had 38 yards, Atkins had 46 yards rushing on that half. Interesting, though, Lester started off quick this afternoon, got his yardage early. Atkins started slow and then came on. So we'll see whether that changes any or not. Now I guess we're all set once again as Obit is backed up. 
Now gets the whistle and approaches the football once again. This time boots it high, and he really nailed it. It's going to be over the head. He nailed it a yard from the restraining line at the back of the end zone. That's the way to come back from a bad kick. Just back up five yards and kick it 20 yards further than you could normally. So Maryland will start first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. If he had been kicking that one from the 40, it would have gone into the stands in the end zone stand. So once again, O'Hare and company taking to the field now as Maryland leads 14 to seven in the football game and we're just into third quarter action. O'Hare bringing them out, Kozel and Atkins will be in the eye. Wide left comes Richards, Corinzi splits off the right side. O'Hare at quarterback, moves up under, pitch back. This is Atkins, he's gonna be caught. That's Jim Stuckey wrestling him down back around the 18 yard line. Good pursuit laterally that time by the Tiger defense, and there was nowhere for Atkins to turn up. When he did turn up, he ran right into Jim Stuckey. So a loss of two, it'll be second down and 12. Bubba Rollins cut down somebody who was trying to block, and Bubba more or less blocked them and cut down the interference on that side. Corinthi comes wide to the left. This time they split Richards off right end. Line up in the eye once again behind O'Hare at quarterback. Out it comes. This time the ride off to Atkins, sweeping to his right. He's hit as he crosses the 20 to the 21-yard line, and down he goes. Across the way, Al Latimer was in pursuit. Jim Stuckey again over there with Bubba Brown, John Brooks. Ball spotted at the 21. It'll be third down and nine for Maryland. Kozel getting back in. Out comes Dudish. 14 minutes remaining, third quarter, just underway here in the second half. Richards to the right, Corinzi to the left once more. Third and nine, Maryland. O'Hare, pitch back. Atkins misplays the ball, now turns it upfield. He's across the 25 and out to about the 29. But down he goes, just shy of a first down, and Maryland will punt the football. Atkins almost sprung that one for the first down and perhaps more, but he was stripped up back around the 25 and fell forward to the 29-yard line. And that to see who made the hit on him there. Someone coming across in the middle got him by the ankle. It might have been Bubba. Interesting thing, they took uh, Willie Jordan out and uh, had Gethers in in his place on that, that play. All right, Jordan's backed up now as Castro punts. Gets a high spiral. Jordan, fair catch, gathers it in at the 38-yard line. That's where the Tigers will take over first and 10. All right, the defense did its job. Now it's up to the offense as they're trailing 14-7 to in the football game. And we'll see what develops from that halftime meeting that they had in the locker room across the way. All right, Tigers have seven points, and you're talking about a ball team that's averaging over uh, 30 a game, so you've got to know they're going to put some on the scoreboard regardless of how good Maryland is. Out comes Butler wide to the right side. Tracy Perry and Lester Brown line up in the eye behind Steve Fuller. Fuller takes out. Perry gets the call. He tracks out across the 40 to the 42-yard line before Charles Johnson can bring him down. Tracy's running very, very tough inside today. Ball is marked at the 43-yard line, in fact. That's a gain of five. It'll be second and five now. Tracy's also protecting that ball with both hands most of the afternoon. He's had some problems with that. Wide right comes Butler. Perry and Brown again line up in the eye behind Steve Fuller at quarterback. Abreu at left end and Anthony King at right end, both in tight. Fuller rolling to his right, looking over the middle, fine. Butler's got it. He's in Maryland territory at the 47-yard line. That'll be a Tiger first down as Lloyd Burris comes up and makes the defensive play for the Terps. But Butler on that quick in on the post. They marked it at the 46-yard line of the Terps. First and 10 Tigers trailing 14-7 to in the football game with 12.30 remaining here in third quarter action. I, don't know, I thought maybe they missed an opportunity to throw a flag on the late hit there, too. Butler goes wide to the left side again. Everyone else remains in tight. They'll work from the eye once more behind Fuller at quarterback. Steve now taking out, dropping the throw, rolling left over the middle. He goes, oh, incomplete for J.B., and he'll be upset about that when he was wide open at the 31-yard line had eluded Steve Trimble. But the ball got through his arms and, in fact, was almost picked off then by Trimble, who was back there, but it got away from him also. Well-thrown ball. Jerry just failed to hang on that time. I don't know, he was coming out of that sun into the shade and maybe a little bit of sun shining over the rim of the stadium that bothered him there some, I don't know. Not looking for excuses, just not normal to see J.B. drop one when it's thrown like that. Butler goes wide left. Tracy Perry straight ahead to about the 41-yard line. Knocked down there, Ed Gall defensively leading the way for the Maryland Terps. 
Volkowitz over the top was helping on the tackle. They'll mark it at the 42-yard line. Now it becomes third down, six yards to go for the Tigers. So a big third down conversion needed here if the Tigers are going to continue this drive. Cliff Bray checks out. White Clark has moved in, bringing a play from the sidelines. Out they come. Butler goes wide left. Clark will line up tight on right end. Fuller up under center. Takes out. Drops the throw. Looking. Firing over the middle. Incomplete. Boy, just totally missed Jerry that time. Led him far, far too much. And so the Tigers again will have to punt the football, and Maryland will get it back. You've got to wonder if that was a... If there was something wrong completely. He was so far off. There was a wrong turn somewhere run by Buck. All right, David Sims backed up the punt. Lloyd Burris back deep for Maryland. Flag goes down. Delay of game. Somebody came up. Looked like uh, left guard came up over there. The legal procedure. Tigers call. That'll cost them five. That'll back it up five now. And, of course, David Sims will be called upon to punt once again. First time a flag's been thrown on the Tigers this afternoon. The high emotional state that reigned supreme around this stadium prior to the start of the game has more or less tempered itself. It's very calm out here right now, like someone waiting for something to happen big. All right, Sims back up inside. He's 40 now to await the snap. Has it. No rush this time. Oh, a terrible kick by David Sims. Just an absolutely horrendous kick by Sims that time. See where the angle it went out of bounds. It'll be at the 30-yard line. That is a 17-yard punt. So now both kickers have been guilty of a bad punt here this afternoon. And of course, for Sims, it's going to go down as one of his bad days at Black Rock because he had the one that was blocked that led to Maryland's second touchdown, the one that put them on top 14 to 7, where this game stands at the moment. Tigers have made more little mistakes and a couple of big ones. Corinzi flanks to the left side as O'Hare brings them out in the eye now. Maryland first and 10 at their own 30. Atkins, a little running room, but then quickly Latimer, or Willie Jordan rather, up on the corner and knocks him down after a pickup of about three yards. So it'll bring about second and seven Maryland now from the 33-yard line. It looked as though Atkins were going to run the daylight there for a moment, but Willie quickly coming up in run support makes the tackle on him. Out comes Maryland with Corinci wide to the left side. Duty should pull back. Atkins the tailback. O'Hare at quarterback as they work from the eye. Off this time it goes. That's Atkins again. Straight ahead. He's out to the 40. Should have a first down across the 40-yard line. Atkins with that strong running again gets the first down, I believe, as he crosses the 40 and is brought down by Steve Gibbs. Well, will he punish you when he hits you? Bubba Rollins was also there defensively. It is a first down, Terps. I'd like to point out Rex Barnes back in the ball game too, Jim. Good, good, good. Had a question about that at halftime, and when Rex did not play after the injury in the first half, thought maybe he might be out for the day, but evidently he's ready to go. O'Hare sets them in the eye once again, takes out again. Atkins gets the call. This time, coming up from behind, slowing him down was Charlie Bauman, and that allowed Randy Scott and Jim Stuckey Get in there and bring him down. Willie Jordan was also there, as was Bob Goldberg. Mark it at the 43-yard line. Gain of three, second and seven, Maryland. The Tigers have had a couple of sacks, but otherwise they have not come up with that real big defensive play this afternoon. Maryland set to go. They work from a power eye this time with Corinthi lined up strong to the right. This time to give the duty. She tries right guard and cracks out over the 45 to the 47-yard line is knocked down there. I believe they'll spot the ball at the 46-yard line. And that's going to bring about a third down and four now for Maryland. So it's conversion time for the Terps on third down. They've done well this afternoon doing that, too. Jeff Bryant and Steve Durham have checked in at the tackle positions for the Tigers now. Atkins out. Wysocki gets in at tailback. Wide to the right goes Corinzi. Tudish is the fullback in the eye. O'Hare comes up under center, takes out, rolls to his right, looking to throw. John Brooks is after him. He flips a little screen out on the left side, and that's going to get him a first down as Burgess, the tight end, makes the catch. And here's a flag going down around the 42-yard line. Let's see what that one's all about now. As a flag was thrown 
downfield from the play, which ended up at the Tiger 48. Now the officials will get together, a little conversation, first down Maryland, then personal foul Tigers, and then the cost of more. And that goes in line with the mistakes you were talking about. That time they had a tremendous rush on O'Hare and he came up with the big release valve over there when he found his tight end Burgess. And here's 15 being tacked against the Tigers and the Turks have it first and 10 now at the Clemson 33 yard line. And in a game that you're trailing 14 to seven, you can ill afford to give a team like Maryland opportunities such as this very, very long. Lorenzi going wide to the right side. It's up to the defense now as O'Hare brings them out. Atkins is back in at tailback. O'Hare takes out, gives to Atkins, swinging wide to his right. He's got some running room and slips a couple of tackles. Here's a flag going down. Flags all over the place. Inside the 30 at about the 28-yard line. That's the kind of penalty you, so you, you think probably is going to be a face mask. I don't know. Well, you think that way, but then you wait and see, and let's see what the judgment is on it now. This one might go against Maryland. The Turks are backing up, Ken. Yes, yeah, sure are. Just got to look here and see if we can pick up the infraction as we see that replay that goes back to the fans at Little John. Atkins, who's sweeping out wide to his right. There it is. There it clip, is. Clip. They clipped Randy Scott. Corinzi came back and got stopped from the backside on the clip, and that's going to cost 15 yards. That brings it out to the 44-yard line. So that'll help the Tiger defensive cause a little bit now as Maryland is backed up to the 44-yard line. 15 yards marched off from the point of the infraction. Every official out there got a flag in on that one. <laughs> they were flying from everywhere. First down, 21 yards to go for Maryland now. John Brooks was over conferring there for a moment with the officials. Now O'Hare has his team down, ready to go from the eye. Takes out, rolling to his left, looking to throw. Now is going to be cornered, going to be pulled down at the 46-yard line. Steve Gibbs, Rich Tootin, someone else, Bubba Brown. Yeah, Bubba down underneath there. So O'Hare, and as you indicated earlier in the game, the secondary doing its job, Ken, in covering up on the receivers and forcing O'Hare out of the pocket and then allowing that defense to get up. Stuckey made the first rush on him. And then Rich Tootin grabbed on and waited for help. So now it is second down, 23 yards to go, Maryland, at the Tiger 46-yard line, but the Turks leading this game by a score of 14 to 7. O'Hare is dropping the throw. Whoa, he was hit after the toss, but he gets it off to Corinci, and he's hemmed in and spilled at the 35-yard line. But O'Hare took a shot from Rich Tootin just as he was delivering the football, and Rich came over and aided him to his feet. Everyone all right. Good, strong rush that time by Tootin again, and it's into the 35-yard line. Now it will be third down and 12, Maryland. And O'Hare plays like a real seasoned uh, quarterback, although he hasn't played that much in his career here at Maryland and uh, until this year, this one season behind him, but he is a cool customer. Richards goes wide right, Corinci flanks to the left side. Third down, 12, back to throw, O'Hare. Fires over the middle, incomplete. Incomplete intended for Dean Richards or Eric Sievers. Eric Sievers, the intended receiver, the tight end. And so the Tiger defense does hold. Comes back to the 35-yard line now, and Dale Castro will come on to punt the football. Willie Jordan is backed up to the 10-yard line for the Tigers. 7.40 remaining here, third quarter, 14-7, Maryland on top. Oops, Tigers almost encroached out there. There's a big rush on, but he gets this one away. Jordan's going to let it hit at the five, and it is. Did it get into the end zone? No, I don't believe it did. The Tigers are going to find themselves backed up to the two or three yard line. A 33 yard punt from the 35 yard line can mean but one thing. You are obviously playing in the shadow of your own goal post at the two yard line. You see the Turks defenders down there after it. What a bad is the ball I saw. Uh, Good dribble play there. And they saved it from going into the end zone. Well, the one bad punt here this afternoon by Castro, but it's far been offset by some excellent punts that he's had. And of course, the kicking game has entered into this game as Maryland blocked the punt. The score 
late in the first half. Here's Lester Brown trying to surge ahead, gets maybe one, two at most. Met by Neil Okowitz, Bruce Palmer, Marlon Van Horn. Spot the football now. Five yard line, pick up a three, it'll be second down and seven. Field position, field position. Now they need something to come out of the hole. They need to generate something in the way of offense because the longer this football game continues along in this manner, the better it looks for Maryland, obviously. There's Fuller keeping, coming to his right, turning up field. Steve gets out to the 10, down he goes at the 10 yard line. They'll be faced with a third and two. Fuller that time, hauled down by Neil Okowitz. So it's at the 10 yard line. They need a couple for a first down in an attempt to keep this drive going. Jerry Butler's checking in. As he does, Cliff Gray gets our Tracy Perry's coming out. Maybe Butler's going to play fullback. Perry going to go wide to the left side. Marvin Sims, fullback. Fuller up under center now. Third down, two yards to go. This time, Steve Keeping goes straight ahead. Did he get it? He may have got it. I think he's out around the 13-yard line. And again, it was that 6-4 frame that he leaned out there. And he does get the first down for the Tigers. So Steve Fuller, with that great ability of body lean, that time gets enough lean to accomplish what he wanted, and that was to get a first down. I wonder if that was a broken play the way he turned around there. It looked like it to me. It really did. Right, here it is. Yeah, it looked like he, uh, he looked for Lester, who wasn't there. All right, at the 13, first and 10 Tigers. That's their own 13. This time, another busted play as he and his fullback collide. Van Horn grabs, pulls down Marvin Sims. So the Tigers, in a little bit of a rut at this moment, are not timed up out there offensively. So they are faced now with a second and 11 as they lose a yard on the play. Out they come now. Abreu lines up tight end to the right. King to the left. Wide to the left side goes Jerry Butler now. Marvin Sims, Lester Brown set in the eye behind foot of the quarterback. Steve takes off. Dropping to throw. Rolling left. Looking over the middle. Firing. This one is complete to Butler. 30. 40. Midfield. Midfield. He may be off to the races and is. Jerry Butler. Touchdown. J.B. on a quick post over the middle, got the football, 82, 88 yards, an 88-yard touchdown pass from Steve Fuller to Jerry Butler when he made the catch, Ken, there was no question about it, watch the throw, Butler had full head of steam from one step out. On the replay, look out, Maryland. There's nobody you got can catch that young man. Nobody Butler finally gets the one he's been waiting on all year. Nobody in the country could have caught him. So now Obed Ariri will attempt to tie this football game. Lot spot. Ariri's kick. It is good. Time out on the field. The score here at first. There'll be a lot of ship on the final game of the season was a real tribute to this football team. that we did come so far and we're competing for the championship on the final game of the season was a real tribute to this football team. luck continued for the Tigers as the third quarter began. Twice Fuller and Butler just missed connecting on long games. Once when J.B. failed to hang on and again when Fuller missed fight. It looked bleak for the Tigers when a Maryland punt was down on the Clemson three midway through the period. But Fuller let his team out of the goalpost shadows first rolling to the 10, then lunging forward for a crucial first down. Two plays later, Fuller and Butler finally connected. 
and the result was an electrifying reception that tied the score. Later in the period, Fuller found Dwight Clark over the middle, and the Charlotte senior turned it into a 62-yard touchdown. In the final quarter, the Tigers put together a game-winning drive. Sims fought his way to the five, and Brown swept right end for the touchdown. After stopping a last-ditch Maryland drive, the Tigers ran out the clock. Timed up out there offensively. Well, they are faced now with a second and 11 as they lose a the yard on the play. Out they come now. Abreu lines up tight end to the right. King to the left. Wide to the left side goes Jerry Butler now. Marvin Sims, Lester Brown set in the eye behind the quarter quarterback. Steve takes off, dropping the throw, rolling left, looking over the middle, firing. This one is complete to Butler. 30, 40, midfield. He may be off to the races and is. Jerry Butler, touchdown. <laughs> JB on a quick post over the middle. Got the football. 82, 88 yards. An 88-yard touchdown pass from Steve Fuller to Jerry Butler when he made the catch, Ken. There was no question about it. Watch the throw. Butler had full head of steam from one step out. On the replay, look out, Maryland. There's nobody you got can catch that young man. Nobody Butler finally gets the one he's been waiting on all year. Nobody in the country could have caught him. So now Obed Ariri will attempt to tie this football game. Lot spot, Ariri's kick, it is good. Time out on the field, the score here at first. There'll be a lot of kissing going on, I guarantee you. I might kiss it myself. You know? No, 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 don't get carried well, away there, you know. young man. 15 seconds left in the football game as the Tigers approach the football. Steve Fuller reaches under, falls on it once again, and this will do it. And fans, Ken will be back with you very shortly, but I'm headed for the locker room, and we'll have post-game talk from there. We'll have some news, I think, on bowls. We'll have a lot of stuff for you because we're going to celebrate for the Clemson Tigers and Atlantic Coast Conference Championship as they win it over the Maryland Turks, and it is pandemonium at midfield as these Tiger fans race out to embrace their heroes who, when they arrive at Greenville Spartanburg tonight at 7.15, may be met by the entire state of South Carolina. It certainly should be, Jim. 7.15, their estimated time of arrival. For now, though, I'm going to head for the locker room, and Ken will be back. The final score here at Bird Stadium for an Atlantic Coast Conference Championship. Clemson, 28. Maryland, 24.